Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new here hi welcome join the enthusiasm subscribe so in today's video I am going to show you how to cover your oh so in today's video I am going to show you how to so in today's video I am going to show you how to cover your dark circles with makeup which is a very basic video I know but still I have like a lot of tips and tricks that you can use if you're suffering from like very dark uh, under eye circles or if you are someone who's facing like a lot of creasing right when you apply makeup just because I have very deep set eyes they are even more enhanced you know because you can see like a little bit of depression over here so that's why they are like even more prominent I think so if you want to see how to cover that like if you have a little bit of darkness always peeking through your makeup then yes this video is for you so this happened to me every time i applied makeup in the past like i have like done like a few videos in which there is like still darkness speaking like here like if you see like one of my videos i'll suggest all right because it's in the past let's forget it so yes uh if you see in that video you will like if you see really carefully because it's like really hard for the camera to capture you know so you will see like a little bit over here that happens just because i have deep set eyes like my skull my cheekbone is just like peeking through here so a depression is created over here and whenever you get even a little bit of darkness you know it just starts looking like hell so in this video we are going to see how to make that area look completely like filtered out or blurred out uh, like it, this depression will not be seen whatsoever so yes now without any further chatting let's head right into the video so the first thing will be moisturizing your under eyes very nicely and very properly if that area is dry you are definitely going to face creasing so i think i'm just going to use my clinique moisture surge uh it's almost like empty there is like just a little bit left inside so i'm just going to use that first of all i'm just taking a little bit of my clinique moisturizer on my ring finger although my face is like moisturized but still I mean the, the under eye area needs more moisturization because the skin is really thin over there and I don't know why my under eyes are always dry. So I'm just going to like dab it over here with my fingers. So I don't like to like stretch the skin or whatever, I just like dab. <laughs> Frankly speaking I don't do this thing always but you know. If I do it always, my makeup will look like what, 40% better on the eyes or a 30% better. You don't have to apply like a really bulky moisturizer that sits on the skin or any oil or anything. Just don't apply that otherwise your makeup will start breaking over there. So I am saying that because I've done that, you know. So yes, don't do that. Apply something that ends up really like seeped into the skin or like really matte so you also get like eye moisturizers there are a lot available in the market high-end drugstore but you know we gotta work with what we have what you have to do is you have to apply an orange corrector you have to correct the darkness you have to color correct obviously because you know you have to so this is the la girl pro conceal hd in the shade orange corrector the shade name is that so i'm just like applying now it's not that you have to apply the tiniest amount i know i've said that in many of my videos that apply tiniest amount but no just don't apply the tiniest amount if it's not there then what's the you know a point of applying it so apply this until you feel like okay this is going to cover I believe I can correct the darkness I will never suggest that you use these motions under your eyes, just use like dabbing motion. They are the best for the under eye part. So don't go like overboard on your whole face or it will look orange. You just have to correct this area so stay in this area. I know most like 90 to 95% of people apply concealer after foundation but 
you know i have done both like concealer after foundation and concealer before foundation so whenever i apply concealer before foundation it looks more natural and whenever i apply concealer after foundation it looks more highlighted so it really depends on you if you want a very highlighted like bright and rice kind of look you can go concealer after foundation and if you want really natural kind of a finish then you can go concealer before foundation and yes one more thing you guys i should tell you uh your girl over here i just use a uh, drugstore concealers i have never used a high end concealer in my whole entire freaking life now i really think that drugstore concealers are working really well for me so i'm like okay why invest like in <laughs> but right now i'm thinking of buying a high end concealer i think i am going to buy the huda beauty overachiever concealer uh but let's see yes if you guys know any good high end concealers that can really work for bad and dry circles please suggest but right now i have just drugstore options so three of my top drugstore concealers are that i've been using for so 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 many days number one is this la girl pro conceal hd concealer number two is this wet n wild photo focus concealer uh number three is this maybelline new york fit me concealer so I can swear by these three. These are the, like best drugstore concealers. I find concealers that do not give me like <laughs> bad kind of a flashback in like darkness. So yes, but I've had like bad flashbacks, some bad ones. And applying it. So there's nothing like you just have to apply a concealer and invert a triangle or anything like that. It's not like that, you know. Uh, I don't know why people are so obsessed with that thing, but yes. So I'm just like doubling it up over here. I'm going to use a sponge so that will obviously pick up excess of products. But right under where you have depression, just apply a little bit extra over there. Now the tool with which you want to blend really depends on you. Uh, I use a sponge because this gives like most natural finish. Or like so the concealer has been sitting over there for like 30 seconds, and now I think we can blend it. It has really settled you guys like really nicely. So I'm just going to use my sponge and I'm just blending it. You can see it covered up everything but you can still see like this line over here. We're going to cover that with a powder. So first of all let me apply my foundation and then I will tell you like what to do next. Uh, next let me set it quickly otherwise it will start creasing and I don't want that so for setting my under eyes I am going to use my fit me powder I don't like baking at all because uh, I am using a drugstore powder so it will dry out my skin and next because I you know that is the reason which leaves me with this darkness you know so I just don't like baking so I just dip my sponge into this powder a little bit and I will not bake, alright? Um, I take off the excess of powder. And then I'm just taking this brush because I don't want to use my finger. And I'm just stretching the under eye area a little bit with my brush. And then I'm just going like right under the eye first. <gasps> wow. Oh shit, no. I don't know whether you've learned how to conceal the under eye circles or not but you must have learned one thing that you should wash your damn brushes otherwise it can lead to a whole disaster. I had to remove all the makeup again because once you do that kind of a mistake there is no going back. I did set this eye and you guys look at that flawless thing, look at that. It doesn't matter if it's your concealer or your powder, you have to take it up to the nose like a little bit. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more powder over here. This was the area and you see that's like completely covered. So that's how you cover your under eye circles. There are a few facts that we should address. If you have makeup on your face, it will look like you have makeup on your face. If you have like fine lines on your under eyes, obviously it's going to crease a little bit. The thing is that how can we minimize the effect, you know? Uh, we minimize the effect and we cannot control it, we can just minimize it. So yeah, so that is like honesty 
from my side so that's it for the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up i hope it was helpful even if it's a little bit helpful it will be a big thing for me and yes subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell and if you really like this video then please share this video bye